if you had to choose one thing about Region 1 that makes it special, what would it be? Perhaps our homes and friends, the peaceful communities, the beautiful rivers, and the plentiful fish and crabs come to mind? Or would you choose the one very special tree on which all of these things depend? There are many types of mangrove trees around the world, but they are all in danger. Even in Guyana, over half of our mangroves have been lost over the last 50 years. But we are very lucky that the most mangroves in Guyana can be found right here in our Barima Moro Passage. Three types of mangroves are found here. These are the red, which we know as wild mango, the white, which we know as kaira, and the black, which we know as cruda. Did you know that all of our mangroves are protected under our Forest Act of Guyana and that they cannot be cut without permission from the Guyana Forestry Commission? The Forest Act of Guyana is a law that protects all of our forests. This law also includes our Barima Moro Passage mangroves. Mangroves protect a lot of small animals before they get big. Small fishes and shrimp hide in the roots of the mangroves, so they are not eaten by bigger fishes. This allows them to grow big enough for us to catch and eat. The roots of the mangroves also trap mud, which is important for crabs to dig their holes, which are their homes. The mangroves are also home to other wild animals, such as agouti, laba, and bush hog, which we eat. Birds such as macaws and parrots nest in the treetops and feed on the fruits found in the mangrove forest. If we chop down too many mangroves, we can lose our bush meat, fishes, shrimp, and crabs that we use to eat and earn money and that our children need for the future. Mangroves also protect our houses, farms, and communities from swelling and big seas. If too many mangroves disappear, the river banks can be washed away, the land will be flooded more often, and it will be harder to find wood for building and burning. So how do we develop our communities without cutting our mangroves? One option is tourism. Our Region 1 communities such as Imbutero can show tourists special birds like the belted kingfisher and the black-chested tyrant that are only found in the Barima Moro Passage. Our mangrove forests are also home to a lot of important animals that tourists come to Guyana to see. The Guyana Marine Conservation Society team has seen many of these on camera in the Barima Moro Passage mangrove forest since 2020. Mangroves can also be used to make honey. Bees build their homes in the mangrove forest and the flower of the cruda gives the honey a very special taste. Communities such as Aruka will be giving training in beekeeping so they can safely collect and sell the honey from the hives if the mangroves are protected. The special mangroves in our Barima Moro Passage are full of opportunities they are, in fact, so special that the whole world depends on the role they play. In recent years, scientists have realized the importance of mangroves in fighting against climate change, which is causing the weather to change around the world. 
mangroves are five times better at taking in and storing carbon and other harmful gases from the air than other forests in Guyana. In other words, every mangrove tree and the mud it collects using its roots stores away these harmful gases and keeps them from changing our whole planet. If we kill mangrove trees, carbon and the other harmful gases will be released back into the air. But if we protect them, they will continue to protect our world. So the next time someone asks you why Region 1 is special, remember the crabs, fishes, birds, and animals. Remember our communities, home, and boats. And remember our peaceful forests. But most of all, remember the silent super tree that protects all of this, the mangrove.